We have come together in the sight of God to witness the joining of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. On behalf of Peter and Olivia and their families, I want to welcome you to this celebration. This ceremony de demonstrates the inner love and devotion that these two have in their hearts, first toward God and then toward each other. It also testifies to the belief that God leads us to our life's companion. And we recognize today that God has blessed Peter and Olivia and has guided them to this moment. Will you pray with me? Jesus, we love you. Thank you for this beautiful day. God, thank you for your unfailing love that you so willingly gave by dying on the cross. God, I pray that today above all else, you will be glorified. We thank you for what you have done in Peter and Olivia's life individually. And we are so excited to see what you will do through their life as a couple. Holy Spirit, we invite you to be our honored guest in this ceremony, in Jesus' name, amen. Peter and Olivia, you made it. This is your wedding, a day that will mark the rest of your life. So relax, enjoy this moment. Take a look at all your guests, along with the bridal party. By these guests attending today, they commit to pray for you, support you, and encourage you along life's journey. Ephesians 5 gives specific encouragement to each of you. First to you, Olivia, in verses 22 through 24. Wives, understand and support your husbands in ways that show support, your support for Christ. The husband provides leadership to his wife the way Christ does to his church, not by domineering, but by cherishing. So just as the church submits to Christ, as he exercises such leadership, wives should likewise submit to their husbands. Olivia, be understanding. Learn and know his needs and do your best to meet them. Be supportive. The way that you support Peter will reflect on your relationship with Jesus. Supporting Peter will be a direct representation of your support and love for Christ. And lastly, stay submitted. As Peter leads and you stay submitted to his leadership, God will protect and cover you like he does the church. Being submitted to your husband is the safest place to be. This is not an obligation, but an opportunity. Ephesians 5 continues, Husbands, go all out in your love for your wives, exactly as Christ did for the church. A love marked by giving, not getting. Christ's love makes the whole church whole. His words evoke her beauty. Everything he does and says is designed to bring the best out of her, dressing her in dazzling white silk, radiant with holiness. And that is how husbands ought to love their wives. They're really doing themselves a favor since they're already one in marriage. So Peter, give sacrificially. Christ is your example. The way that he laid down his life for all of us. Give willingly, no strings attached. Your love for Olivia should be marked by getting, by, by giving and not getting. And lastly, speak affirming. The words you speak to her and about her will actually affect her beauty. I strongly believe the more you speak affirming words over your wife, the more attractive she will be to you. The scripture says, you are actually doing yourself a favor because you are already one. Though small in size, these rings are very large in significance. Made of precious metal, they remind us that love is not cheap nor common. Made in a complete circle, they remind us that this commitment is unending. They are an outward sign of your inward commitment. As you wear these rings, may they serve as a constant reminder of the promises you are making. As we conclude this ceremony, I would like to pray a blessing over you out of Deuteronomy 28. Let us pray. If you listen obediently to the voice of God, your God, 
and heartily obey all his commandments. God, your God, will place you on high and all these blessings will come down on you and spread out beyond you because you have responded to the voice of God. You will be blessed inside the city and in the country. Your children's children will be blessed. God's blessing will rest on your finances. You will be blessed in your coming in and your going out. God will make you the head, not the tail. God will defeat every attack of the enemy. He will order a blessing on your barns and workplaces. He'll bless you in the land that God, your God, is giving you. God, I pray that you will lavish good things on Peter and Olivia and that you will throw open the doors of heaven and pour out a blessing that they cannot contain. In Jesus' name. You have come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands. You have made promises of faith and devotion and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, as a licensed minister of the gospel and upon the authority that has been given me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Word of God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Peter, the moment you have been waiting for, and I'm gonna step out of the way, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Peter Morgan.